So before I even start cooking, I like to wipe down all the surfaces that I'm going to be using just to make sure they're clean. The first thing I'm grabbing is a loaf of soft white bread because this morning we're making French toast. Now I'm going into the fridge and grabbing the eggs. And then I'm going to grab a little bowl to crack two eggs into. Uh-oh. Now I'm going into the cabinet and grabbing the vanilla extract just to give it some flavor. I'm taking a half teaspoon of that and as you can see, I'm very messy with this and I clearly can't be trusted with that. Then I'm going in with ground cinnamon and taking a quarter teaspoon of that as well. Now I'm just going into the cabinet again and grabbing a bowl so then I can pour the egg mixture, the vanilla extract, and the ground cinnamon into it just so then I can whisk it all together. And I forgot to add sugar, so the end result of this French toast wasn't that great, but I forgot to add sugar, so what can I do? That's what it should look like after you whisk it, and I'm going to be heating up a pan with some vegetable oil. I definitely don't recommend that. It called for butter, but I just was being dumb, I guess. I'm turning the heat to medium high and putting the vegetable oil into the pan so it heats up. And then I'm taking a slice of the soft white bread and cutting it into about one inch thick strips. And then once I have cut the pieces of bread into thin strips, I'm dipping it into the mixture. And once it is evenly coated, I'm gonna be placing it into the pan. And I'm just gonna repeat this process for all of the slices. And I'm just flipping the ones that are cooking just so they cook evenly and obviously don't burn. And once they are cooked, I'm putting them onto the paper plate. So this is the final product. I'm grabbing some Aunt Jemima maple syrup just to put on top. And this is the finished product. It looks amazing. And now I'm just grabbing some orange juice so I can pour myself a nice glass to go along with this breakfast. And this is the final product. It was pretty good. Like I said, I just forgot to add sugar. It would have been better if I added sugar, but I made do with what I had. <laughs> Next up is lunch. So it's 12.30 p.m. and I was just starving. I didn't want to sit there and really cook a lot. So I'm grabbing a frozen pre-made spicy Thai noodle kind of deal. It comes with two packages, so obviously I'm only making one. So I put one back into the freezer. Now I'm grabbing the pan and a lid and turning the heat to medium high high again and I'm putting vegetable oil in there to heat up. This is what the frozen package looks like. It looks kind of gross frozen but it's okay. Once the pan was heated up I just placed it into the pan and covered it with a lid so the heat is trapped and it cooks faster. And every two minutes or so I took a spatula and kind of just flipped it around and stirred it. And here's me doing a happy dance because I'm starving. And don't forget to stay hydrated. And the noodles are finally done, so now I'm placing them on the plate. And I had to be very careful because, as you can see, it was like smoking hot. And this is the finished product. They were very spicy, but so delicious. Now it is snack time. So in between my lunch and dinner, I like to have a snack. So I just grabbed some original goldfish and I went back into my room and I was working on my marketing study guide. So that's what I did for like an hour or two. And now it's dinner time. So it's six o'clock and I'm opening the cupboard so then I can grab this container of rice that we have. And I'm pouring one cup of rice into a measuring cup and two and a quarter cups of water into a pan. And then I'm putting the rice into the water and covering it with a lid and I'm putting it to medium heat for 25 minutes. Now I'm grabbing a cutting board and I washed the broccoli and now I'm cutting off some of the stems and I'm cutting it into like mini florets if that makes sense and this is what it looks like. Now I'm taking some more vegetable oil into the pan to heat it up. The rice is boiling and now I'm putting the broccoli into the pan and I'm stirring the rice every couple minutes. And I'm also stirring the broccoli as well. And I'm adding some salt and pepper just for some flavor. So now I'm cracking one egg into the pan to scramble it and add some pepper and incorporate it with the broccoli. I'm putting some steamable corn into the microwave for four minutes. And this is what the broccoli and egg looks like. This is the rice almost done. Now I'm stirring it and this is the corn about to explode. Now I'm grabbing a bowl because I'm kind of making like a rice bowl. Now I'm just scooping the rice into it as the first layer. Then I'm putting the broccoli and egg mixture on top. 
And then I'm adding some corn at last, and it was pretty good, I have to say. And this was the finished product, and it was pretty good and pretty healthy. And now for my most favorite part, my most favorite meal of the day is dessert. So I went downstairs and opened the fridge and reached for the chocolate jello pudding. And I took out two cups since they're pretty small. And I just grabbed a glass bowl from the cabinet and some graham crackers and started crushing the graham crackers. And I put those crushed ones on the bottom as the first base layer, if that makes sense. And then I just scooped the first layer of the chocolate pudding into the little glass bowl. And then I did a second layer of crushed graham crackers. And then I did a second layer of the chocolate pudding. And then I'm just adding a little bit of whipped cream and garnishing with some crushed graham crackers once again. And this is the final result, and let me tell you, it was delicious.